The goal of the expedition was to um, explore the bio biotic diversity as much of the Philippines as we could in as many different environments. And, uh, but we did restrict it to Luz two islands, Luzon in the north and uh, Mindoro just south of there. I was one of the academy scientists that was fortunate enough to go to the Philippines and do research in an area where very little research has been done. One of the things that we've been trying to do is document how much biodiversity is there and how much of it is unknown. But no one has been into the area that we studied and that was evidenced by all of the discoveries that we made. We continue to find new species every time we go there and that curve of species accumulation hasn't leveled off in 20 years. You know, one of the things that we thought about this expedition that we would find new things, but we had no idea what the magnitude of that would be. We found uh, basically at least 300 new species of, of plants and animals on this expedition in, in uh, the course of a month. I think in the, deep, the most unexpected things we found were, came from the deep water component. And uh, because you don't know what you're going to get when you put a, a, a trawl net down a thousand meters or whatever to the bottom of the sea and you bring it up and you have no idea what you're going to find. And so we found uh, things like deep sea sea pens and corals that I had never encountered before from extreme depth. I guess that my favorite discovery was that new shark. I wasn't expecting it. I certainly didn't imagine that I'd get a new shark species in the very first trap that we set. Here it came. So I, I guess that was my favorite, but those eels are pretty exciting too. My favorite find um, was a, a little sea slug that I had found. Um, it's in a group that I had been studying extensively. It's probably about an, half an inch in length, um, and it was a brand new species. But what was really cool about it is that it had this elongate tail coming out the hind end of its body that looked sort of like a, a Labrador retriever or something. It, it, so I called it the puppy dog slug. <laughs> and, since we've been back, been able to sequence its DNA, put it into the context of the other things that we know, and we've been able to verify, yeah, it's a completely new thing. Another goal of the expedition had to do with conservation and uh, protecting areas. And we worked with lots of conservation agencies in the Philippines. The fisheries department, particularly in, in Manila, the Department of Interior, they want to know what's there, and they, any information they can get from outside scientists is, uh, is what they are, want. That's where we come in, just giving them an idea of what's there, basically. A lot of uh, what we didn't expect at all was in almost in every trawl, we found a large quantity of plastics, uh, plastic garbage that has sunk to the bottom of the sea. Every time we went into the water, there you saw plastics. And then if, particularly if the wind was blowing a particular direction, you would see you know, almost a raft of plastic bags floating by. And then these things eventually fall down to the bottom. When you're diving on coral reefs, uh, you know, disposable diapers are draped over coral heads. Uh, it's, it's really quite disturbing to see that kind of stuff. We'd pull the nets, and when the nets would come up, 50% of the net bag, the collection bag, was full of plastic, full of cans, full of old clothes. What trash. Among the plastic, you found your specimens, but you had to dig through the plastic to find the organisms in some cases, so um, that's not a good sign. And uh, we don't know if that's um, just in this one area or it's worldwide. It doesn't mean that people in the Philippines are, are more careless. They're not a wealthy nation like we are here in the U.S. And the challenges are greater, but certainly the will to, to effectively uh, create a better environment is there and is in the hearts and the minds of the Filipino people and I'm confident that they're going to come up with solutions. <laughs>